sorry. Did I frighten you? Oh, my sincerest apologies. Um, tell me, Earthling, were you in your hibernation-like state? Oh, fascinating. I have heard that humans will lay down and go into this hibernation state for hours. Seems like such a waste of your life. And you do this every day. Huh. Fascinating. And to see it happen in front of me. Hmm? Oh, who am I? Um, I am dwarfs, how you would say. Cousin. Yes, in Earthling. Uh, no, we don't look similar. Her mother is the relation of my mother. My father is from the planet Inkadot. Yes, very beautiful planet. Oh, my name is Nikotishkat. <laughs> You can just call me Schnarf. Yeah, Schnarf. So I hope you don't mind. Dorf told me that this was where you were staying. Yes, I've really wanted to meet an Earthling for a long time. You see, I've been taking classes on you. And I wanted to see one in reality. Yes. I hope you do not mind. Can I just take a look at you? I have brought some fun stuff. I promise I will be quick. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I would like to touch your face. Is that okay? Good, 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 good. Thank you. Is that what your people call you? It is quite hideous. I mean that sincerely. I will call you... Morph. It is more pleasing on our planet. Okay, Morph? Dwarf has told me that you have many sigil markings. You must be very high up on your planet. I wish to count them all. I was just counting your sigil markings. Ah, I see. I am not as fluent in your native tongue as dwarf is, but I could try. Let's see, you have one, dos, five, cinco, Who knows how much longer you're going to last here. You are quite a sensitive being, are you not? It's okay, Morph. I'll protect you. Wait, right here. Okay, Morph. I have tons of questions for you. First... I would like to start by scanning your body. I am learning. As you can see, I don't have as many sigil markings as dwarf, but I will get there. So, I'm going to write these down.
this personal space. Space, like space. No. Oh, you want... Sure, not a problem. Morph. I get back up. We write this down. Likes personal space. Personal space. Like this personal space. What else do humans like more? No, tell me more. Go on, go on. Oh, that's quite fascinating. And you all sit around and watch these boxes. I see you humans really like to waste time. Fascinating. Let me set this down more. So, Dwarf has already told me that she has done the scanning. You are aware how this device works. Good. Good, 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 good. Yes, I am learning. Here we go. Hold still. It should not deform you. Go. Personally, I think. It appears you are healthy for an earthling, but hopefully being in our climate, in an our planet, should heal you more. Hmm. All right. We have many high-tech computers, human, but nothing helps you retain knowledge like writing it down. Though, since you earthlings are slightly behind, I could understand why. No, it's okay. I have looked into the future. Your race will eventually catch up. In time.
if it is okay with you now, Earthly. I would like to invade your personal space and take a look at you further. Good. Let me get my special pointy tool. Yes. Oh, don't worry. It only hurts slightly. I am going to use it to poke around on your epidermis. Your sigil markings don't remove. How odd. Hmm. Let me take a look at your eyes here, Earthlings. Stare right there. Good. Good. I could just test out your eye. What? Very well, Earthling. Perhaps I will do it when you are in your hibernation-like state. <laughs> Nothing. So I'm gonna have you follow this light with your eyes and keep the rest of your body as still as possible. Perfect. Let me write that down. So, note to self. Humans will easily give up free will to follow light. Well, you can't say that I am wrong, Earthling. You did not put much fight on. Humans easily do as they are told. <laughs> Good. Yes. Now you're doing great, more. As good as you can for human. Right. I've heard much stories and you are living up to the reputation. It is neither good nor bad. Okay. Now, I must obtain a specimen. Is that alright with you, Moore? It will be... Mm, non-invasive. Yes. Hold still.
All right, Morph. I have many different implements here. So we're going to start. the area. I have been told that you humans easily contract diseases, so we have to make sure that you are sterile. Hold still here. And we'll just wait that there. I'm just about to put that down. Here we go. Hmm. Nothing. Now, I have given you, Earthling, my word to be non-invasive. So, this will just melt off a portion of your skin. And, yes, melt off, but it will not hurt. We'll use this bed for testing. Hold still here. I'm just going to place a couple drops drops here. And we'll wait to the casket and take it off. I owe you one, Earthly. My class will never believe that I have an actual sample from an Earthly. Hmm. Well, it's just, you Earthlings are so behind. We're told to leave you alone and not let you know of the existence of other beings. It's rare we actually get to meet one and obtain a sample. So this is a monumentous occasion for me, Gridley. Thank you, more. Alright. You wait right here. I will be right back. I must grab one more thing. Right more. It's okay with you. I would just like to grab some quick. 
quick measurements. Not a lot. I'm just very curious about the spacing of your sigil markings. So I just would like to measure a few, and then I have a gift for you to repay the favor. Yes, hold still here while I just invade your personnel space. Your sigil markings are quite special. Dwarf tells me you call them freckles. How odd. Very well, though. A deal is a deal. Let me retrieve your gift more. More. I have made you your own planet. Well, yes, that is what I am. I can create small planets and stars. It is part of my being. And as soon as you name it and claim it as your own, you will see it come alive. What do you wish to name your planet, Mor? Oh, that is beautiful. Say it loudly and just give it a little touch. See? It's starting to come alive more. Go ahead. Touch it. Beautiful. It is yours, more. Do with it what you will. Yes. It is very much real. Here you are. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I hope to be seeing you soon. If I am lucky, you will be in your hibernation-like state and I can observe you. Yes. I will be leaving now, more. Take care. Enjoy your personal space. Bye. Shiko no Gemma, Infinite Theory, Travis Fincher, Marion, DTMAKAB, Melancholy Joker 19, Aria Kitty, Pierce O'Dolly, Caragio Ferreira, Chris Hubbard, O'Rossi, Jack, Richard Hoffman, Titan, Stay Cynical, Oliver Skivington, Endless Record, Kevin Testa, Edgar, Mr. Waltz, Vaporwave Mystic, Phoenix, Sam Hipwell, Fire Drake 047. Anish Lewis 22, Cobalt Enigma, Gary Nekowayak, Robert, Apollyon 001, Mickey 070498, Connor, Dennis, Livid Canadian, Reviewers, Stefan Starbotov, Blink 1259, B, Spencer Reed, Andrew Paul, Thomas Flanagan, SDR Knight, Craig, Mr. Ox 1998, Light Fury, Mr. McNugget, Cedric, David McDowell, David Jeremy Fitzpatrick, Ryan Wood, Spy Camp, Wolf's Rain 17, Sam Small, Ward Thomas, Tom J, Derek Jenkins, Justin Parmentier, Gray Warden, Miss Charming Mothman, Neon Cunt ASMR, CLP, Clyde Fabian, Kyle Cagante, Jaffa, Ape Penguin 909, Dragon Flame, Ivor, Sleepy 
Christmas Moth, Mr. Mayhem, Chris MC83, Bono Hawk 764, Mermo 0921, My Cast, Sensei John Rivera, Just Your Boy Reese, Apollo, Literally My Husband, Mark M, James Pudic, Jacob RM, Dave, Chami D, Renzo, Jeremy Espanol, Sark 237, Scourge 77, Maddie Vibes, John DC1, Brian, Patrick Stewart, Nick S.